It's sleek, solar powered, and cutting its way through Plymouth Sound. This is the Mayflower for 2020. Packed full of tech, it might be a new vessel, but in this city with an unrivaled maritime history, there was, of course, something traditional about its naming ceremony. It's my distinct honor and great uh, privilege and pleasure to name this vessel the Mayflower Autonomous Ship. Smashing a bottle on a high-tech hull isn't the done thing. So the US ambassador emptied a bottle of Plymouth gin instead. The Mayflower for this century is about proving what is possible, removing people from the picture, handing navigation and scientific experimentation over to an artificially intelligent skipper, pioneering work that may one day be the rule rather than the exception. The ship itself is a science experiment. I mean, we don't know from day one it's going to work correctly. We've done a lot of testing on board manned ships, so the air captain has been working alongside a human captain and comparing notes on what they would do next. But we don't know what it will encounter, and so there's always a chance. If the sea is very big, wet and dangerous, it may well win, um, but we'll learn so much along the way. True autonomy means decision-making without human intervention. With so many variables that could happen to the Mayflower, the next six months of sea trials will be critical to its success. Sailing in the shadow of its 400-year-old predecessor, organisers of today's anniversary event wanted to ensure they were looking to the future while acknowledging the past. We're going to be launching today a vessel that could potentially change the world. And 400 years ago to this very day, the Mayflower set sail from here and was the most influential maritime voyage in global you know, history, really. This boat will make a voyage into the unknown, packed with software and without crew, looking towards a high-tech horizon. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Plymouth.